Carbohydrates are one of the four major organic compounds, and today we're going to talk about why it is that they're a major organic compound and how you can identify a carbohydrate. So, first of all, carbohydrates are made up of only carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. If you have something that's made up of, of something other than carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, like it's got nitrogen in there, then it's going to be something else other than a carbohydrate. Okay. So carbohydrates are strictly carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Carbohydrates are the main source of energy for all organisms. This main source of energy, this energy provides us with what we can do every day. We need that energy. Without that energy, we cannot function. Okay, so it's our main source of energy, and sometimes it does serve a structural purpose, for instance, in plants. Okay. Now, carbohydrates, we have, I've got a couple of different things up here. Glucose is a carbohydrate. Its chemical composition is C6H12O6. Sucrose, its chemical composition is C12H22O11. Now, this one to two to one ratio of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen is important in carbohydrates also. Now, we know that monomers are the single units of all organic compounds. You know that single train car, we're going to go back to the train car again. The single train car is the monomer. So the monomer of a carbohydrate is known as what's called a monosaccharide. One sugar. A saccharide is another word for sugar. Okay, so a monosaccharide is one sugar. Now, the polymers of carbohydrates, there are two different names for them. We can have disaccharides, which is two sugars, or polysaccharides, which is many sugars. So the long chains of starches are polysaccharides. Okay, when we have just two sugars, for instance, sucrose is two different molecules, put, put, uh, sugar molecules put together, two monosaccharides put together, that would be a disaccharide. And when we have an individual sugar molecule like glucose, that is called a monosaccharide. So monomers are monosaccharides, and polymers are both disaccharides and polysaccharides. Now, there are some major functions for carbohydrates. Sugars and starches are, all, are both carbohydrates. Okay? They are a major source of energy, one of the major sources of energy, especially for um, cellular respiration, and we'll talk about that a little bit later in the year. Plants actually take and store energy in the form of carbohydrates, and that's what we eat. That's what we eat are those, the carbohydrates. We get the energy from the carbohydrates of those plants. And finally, some plants use glucose, um, sorry, not glucose, but some use um, carbohydrates for structural purposes. The cellulose piece is a um, structural for the plants. They're in bark of a tree. They're the major piece that helps support whatever plant you have. And the piece with this is that humans actually cannot digest cellulose. So we couldn't eat a tree because we couldn't eat digest that cellulose. Now, if we're going to try to identify carbohydrates, I already told you previously that the C carbon, hydrogen, oxygen has a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio. Now, long chains or rings of carbon that have the carbon and the hydrogen in them would be, um, would be a carbohydrate. Now, I've got two pictures up here, two different ones. This is a chain of carbon, and if you notice coming off of each of these, we have hydrogen and oxygen off of each of one of these carbons. And if you count them all up, we have six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens, which actually make this a carbohydrate. This is also a chain of carbon. This chain of carbon, we've got six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. If we count all of those up, that's what we end up with. So we still have that one to two to one ratio, which gives us a carbohydrate. Now, we might be slightly off with the oxygen um, when we form, when we put two together, um, chains together or two circles together to make a disaccharide, okay? 
you might end up with this OH dropping off and it forms with another oxygen in here. Remember that water removal is a dehydration synthesis. So the numbers might be a little bit off. Going back to our um, sucrose, it's C6, uh, sorry, C12, H22, O11. That 11 isn't quite that two, um, that 12 in there to make it one to two to one, but it's right around that same area because we've gone through that dehydration synthesis process and actually removed um, an oxygen piece in there. So carbohydrates, main source of energy for all living things.